what is up everybody so the warriors den has occurred and they've outlined what we have in store for year seven season two for title update one and two but we're gonna focus on title update one because that's pretty much everything that they covered in this one we know we're gonna get that aztec hero but that's gonna be given to us in title update two so in this one we're gonna focus on the battle pass the stolen empire event pass the new onboarding flow that's mainly for any new players that come on and and hopefully it makes it easier for them to kind of digest everything that's going on in for honor so we'll cover that a little bit and we'll talk about that new warmonger hero skin the conquistador testing grounds and the hero fest so for the hero fest on july 6th we have warlord july 13th is going to be griffin and july 20th is going to be valk so what you need to know about the hero fest you're going to get a couple of different emblems and you're going to get a new execution for that hero so that's something to look forward to is really the execution that's the most exciting thing to look forward to i don't know how many people actually use those little emblems that look like the hero um, but it's there for you if you need it we also got a throwback event it's called wrath of the yorm so if anybody that's been playing for honor for any length of time you'll know and you've seen people use the one where they the hammer comes down and then it electrocutes you and then they kind of they can ledge you with it they knock you out all the way across the map or whatever so you'll be able to get that unique execution during this event so that event is going to take place july 13th through july 20th but the first thing we're going to talk about is that warmonger hero skin conquistador vela I think it's fly. I think it's fly. I like the way it looks. I make sure you can see it in all its glory right here because I want you guys to all take it in. I think it looks fantastic. However, 25,000 steel. 25,000 steel is a lot to digest. I don't, for any hero skin, especially because For Honor is big on fashion. It's big on fashion. So the hero skin is like a cheat code for fashion, but if you like the hero, and this actually looks more unique than from Warmonger herself. So that's what I like about this Conquistador. So go ahead, dive in, pick her up, 25,000 steel, she's yours. What I think they really did a good job with is the battle pass. I like everything that I've seen about the battle pass. I like the effects for the battle pass. I like the weapons for the battle pass. And I want to make sure you guys see all of that right here. I even like that Jungle Pal signature that they have for the Battle Pass. The one thing that I don't really care for is part of the Battle Pass so you're going to get it. But it's that hot potato execution. At least they're saying it's part of the Battle Pass. So I'm thinking it's going to be available for purchase or it's going to be part of your Battle Pass. But the way they packaged it, I believe it's going to be part of your Battle Pass. But if not, it's for a limited time and you'll be able to purchase it. But I'm not a big fan of it. And that's, to me, that means it's probably part of my battle pass. <laughs> but I will say I like the majority of what they have. The ornament is meh, but the Jungle Pal signature, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good, it's not bad. But overall, I think the weapons is what looks the best when it comes to the battle pass. I think they did a phenomenal job with the weapons. I want them for most of the heroes, and hopefully you guys were able to scoop these up during the battle pass the good thing about the battle pass is that it's here for like 90 days i mean you have plenty of time so drop your 9.99 for the battle pass or if you want to just play the season a little bit and then decide if you want to buy it you can do that too because then you can decide if you want to spend the 25 dollars or the nine dollars i prefer to get it at the beginning of the season so therefore if something happens later in the season you can already kind of build up that equity because you do get more points towards the battle pass if you buy it and as you play so 25 dollars will get you more tiers but the next thing that you have is the stolen empire now this is where we talk about limited availability or limited time now, I know they said the battle pass is a limited time, but this is really limited. You're talking two weeks limited. So from June 15th to July 6th, you have the Stolen Empire. And Stolen Empire, I'm not the biggest fan of the weapons, but I actually don't mind the outfit. I think the, out the battle outfit is pretty all right. I think it's actually pretty good. The ornament is okay. And I think the effect is not so great. The effect is not so great, but everything else is pretty good. 
the weapons are not that great but hey you might find something that you can kind of merge with your fashion and you can make it work but i'll have the weapons here so you can take a look at them and i will not bother you or try to talk over it too much if as you observe it i do like some of the designs on a few of the weapons but overall it's kind of inconsistent for me and it could also the color patterns the color patterns aren't very very they don't grab me the color patterns don't grab me as much as the battle pass the battle pass weapons they're a step above and i believe they should and one thing i want to note about these weapons for the stolen empire available from june 15th to july 6th you have to play the hero in order to get the weapon so if you want it for tiandi you have to play tiandi to get that weapon you can't play nobu and expect a tiandi weapon and that's kind of good and bad because you know with some events you play an event and you'll be able to get the weapons for whoever right but for here you got it you have to play it for that hero to get the weapons normally when you're talking about the ornaments and things like that for the other heroes yes that doesn't matter but for the weapons specifically you have to play the hero for honor has a new user interface team and this ui team put together this onboarding flow so this onboarding flow i don't know if you guys remember how how you can go into the tutorial you can do the tutorial and it would you had to accomplish it step by step and once you completed it then you can go back and you can try the different ones well what they did was make it so you can select either one that you want to do which is great which is great i think that's a good addition and that way, if people just want to jump right into revenge, they can jump right into practicing revenge. If people want to learn about Dom, they can practice about Dom. And that's another thing they added. And that's something that I'm even going to try once they have this up. I like the fact that they actually have something that explains Dom. But how in-depth will it be? Because in revenge, are they going to break down revenge tags? Probably not. Probably not in-depth. You're probably going to have to go to Freeze to see if you weren't looking for an in-depth revenge tag breakdown. But that's something they really should have in the game so people actually know what the heck they're doing and why people get so upset when you're like, no, no, don't hit him, don't hit him, don't hit him. You're going to feed him revenge. That's how people usually are. And then, boom, you feed him revenge. So you know how upset somebody is when they start to roll away and they just leave you there to get lit up. Yeah, that's because they're ticked off because you fed them revenge. But that's all I have for this video. I decided to put the testing grounds and the patch notes in a separate video. So if you want to check that one out, feel free. But that's all for this one. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Till next time. Peace.